Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a transparent LCD panel like this. You can also check Altec's YouTube channel, which I'll give the link below, as I learned most of these things through his videos. So without further ado, let's get started. For this build, you'll need a monitor, preferably an old one that you can get from aftermarkets for 10 bucks or so. A PC with white interior is also recommended to get the best results. I got this old Samsung monitor, model number AL1717, for about 15 Australian dollars. Well, the first thing you gotta do is disassemble it. Make sure you check the disassembly process for your monitor so you don't damage the cables you need for the build. Once you've got the back cover off, disconnect all the cables. You usually don't need the cables outside the metal cover. Once you get to this part, don't pull the cover off recklessly because you need the cables inside. You have to carefully disconnect the panel from the circuit board and keep it aside for now. So inside the metal cover, you usually find two boards. You need the small one for this build, but before discarding the big one, you have to determine the five volt wires and the ground wires. It's usually written where the wires are soldered, like this. Make sure you read this and don't judge it through colors because the color of the cable can be different for different companies. So as you can see, the first two wires are 5 volt and number 3 and number 6 are ground. These are the wires you'll be needing today to power your LCD panel. Once you know which cables are which, just connect the two 5 volts together and the two ground wires together like this. Also secure the cables you don't need to prevent any short circuiting. After that, you just need to connect it to a power input cable, like a Molex cable, or in my case, I used a USB 2.0 cable. Uh, in this kind of USB cables, the red wire is usually the 5 volt wire and the black one is ground. So all you have to do is connect your 5 volt to the USB's 5 volt and the same for the ground wires. Once you've done that, try to secure your circuit board with something non-conductive because you'll be putting it inside your PC, so you don't want to risk short-circuiting. Actually, um, before preparing your circuit board, you should disassemble the LCD panel and remove the anti-glare coating. All you have to do is just place a wet towel on the side where the anti-glare is pasted for at least 5 to 6 hours. And you just pull it off with your hands. I'm sorry, I forgot to film the removal process. But the LCD panel usually has a lot of things pasted on it, like the polarizer film and such, so make sure you don't remove those. Once that's done, clean the LCD panel properly with microfiber cloth. Also, the board connected to the panel is easily damaged, so make sure you secure it with something like a permanent vinyl tape. I used a normal tape to stick the LCD on my side panel. I had to cover it with two layers of vinyl tapes on both the sides. You don't want light leaking out of the sides, so it's better to use black ones below the white tape. Once you have secured the panel to the case, you'll need a bright light strip and paste it on all sides of your panel. I used a 5V USB light strip because I got too lazy to solder things to a Molex cable. 
but you should probably go for a 12 volt strip with more LEDs for better results. Once that's done, all you have to do is route your cables through the back of your case and just plug the cables in. And that's it. You now have a transparent LCD panel like mine. Thank you for watching my video and let's end this video with a montage.